Okay, hi, Kevin here. I'm going to show you how to use our new invention called Wave Clip. Now, Wave Clip is quite an ingenious invention in the way that what it does, it gives your hair just that very subtle, slight movement. So I'm sure that you've had clients asking you for just a bit of movement. So what you do is you blow dry the hair smooth, and then you apply the Wave Clip after just to give your straight blow dry just that little, tiny, subtle little wave. So it actually makes the hair a bit sort of 70s looking, but without looking like, or without having to go to the trouble of using hot irons, tongs, so it's a really simple product to use. So simply, all you really have to do is um, I would apply like a holding product, like say anti-gravity or bodybuilder. I'd put it into the hair first, dry the hair smooth, and then pretty much take a section all at once. I'm just going to spin you around a bit here. So you take quite a large section. Now you want to drop this down sort of quite low because you're not really looking for a lot of height out of the product. You're really looking for a bit more movement. So you want to take it straight in like so. Take a really quite a large section. So here I've, I'm leaving the front out because we've got a bit of a short fringe. But what I'm going to do is take that whole side. So it's a slight sort of triangle section. So you want to go straight in like so. And then just make sure there are no hair caught in the ridges. And all you do is just click. You're done. And then you take your next wave clip. And then you want to bring that all the way down. Now you see the wave clips all meet up to the end here. So you want to go all the way down, like so. Make sure there's no hair caught, and click. Now, because the hair is a bit laid on the bottom, we're just going to put a little clip in the bottom just to secure that. So what you want to do is just to keep that nice and secure, you just want to take your little tiny little clip and clip that in just on the end. That's going to really hold that in. Okay, so next section. I'd split the hair into four, really, so you're going to go one, two, three, four. So your next section is all around here. Split that section into two. Go straight in, up to around the occipital bone. Pull the hair in, clip it like so. Put the wave clip right up to the edge, like so. Make sure the hair doesn't get stuck. And click it in, like so. Grab your trusty little pin and just pin those ends on. In like so, and then pull the hair and secure. Your next section, you want to grab that hair from the underneath. So it does it all at once. Put your wave clip in. and secure, click in. And then secure with a pin. Like so. Now again, we're gonna leave that little bit of a front out because we really want that straightness around the front because this is really good for just giving the illusion of wave as well because you're not really after a very full on wave, you're just after something very soft and very floaty. Now you want to take your hairnet, because your hairnet's going to stop you from having flyaways. And then you want to just wrap the hairnet over the entire section like so. Put your hairnet on. Then you take your product. So you're going to use a product like full on protection. So full on protection is the best one to use. So you want to spray the product after it has gone into the clips. A couple of light sprays. Just want to dampen that hair a little bit, not too much. Then you want to take your trusty dryer. Now you want to put your dryer on high heat and low blow. And then you want to heat those wave clips up. And what you'll notice is the hair within the hair net doesn't get all fly away. So it's a really good way of putting wave into the hair without having a fly away. You want to blow them from the behind and from on top. So blow them on top and then blow them from behind. Just to really get that hair completely formed in there. So now you've got to give them a blast with cold air because it's the cooling down that sets the hair, not the heating up. So just turn your hairdryer onto cold and just give them a little blast with cool air for about a minute or so, just to really cool down the hair because that's going to set the hair. 
Okay, so we've let them cool for long enough. Now it's just a matter of taking off the hairnet. So you want to gently pry that hairnet off. Gently remove the net. Remove your little pins. And it's pretty much click open. And you can see how it started to really form a wave. Click them open. And you get a beautiful soft wave coming through there. The result of this is you get a really nice natural looking wave without a lot of effort. Normally you'd have to actually, you know, get your tongs out, get your rollers out, it takes forever. And clients don't actually want it that curly, they're just after this sort of loose wave that doesn't have any frizz in it. So you're getting no flyaways and no frizz. Uh, the trick is to grab both those sections at once when you're doing the underneath because that's going to give you a very soft, watery looking wave. So you can see the hair just looks really wavy and soft. So all you need to do is run your fingers through that and what it's done is it's really extended the life of your blow dry because it's made your straight blow dry turn wavy. Okay. So you can see what it's given us is a really soft natural wave. So the hair five minutes ago was completely straight and now it's got a beautiful sort of natural movement to it. And all you really want to do is just pull that through with your fingers you can see we've got a very soft, subtle look that looks completely natural and it's changed our straight blow dry into a gorgeous sort of wavy, undone, sort of almost 70s look as well, which is really nice. And the best part about it is the client hasn't lost any length. So instead of the going for the S formation, she's just got a very gentle, subtle wave in her hair. And we think it looks great with lots of volume, which is really good. So there's your wave clips on blow dried hair.